Hi there. In this video I'm going to be installing this thing in an IKEA sink. This is a pump for liquid uh, dish uh, washing detergent. It has a reservoir underneath it and it's all metal, which is extremely important. So I ended up buying this particular model because somebody said in the reviews it's metal and it, he put some pictures and yes, even the inside of it all is metal, which is awesome. The other ones, even more expensive, were made of plastic and everybody said they crack like crazy and uh, they are useless. So IKEA sink doesn't have a hole in here. But it has a sort of preparation for this in the fr plastic frame underneath. It has a hole right in this area and another one right in this area somewhere. But we are putting it uh, to the left right here. So I need to drill a tiny hole in the center of the underside of that hole. And then I'm not sure with what I will maybe drill more holes all around and file between them because this might prove quite difficult to cut stainless steel so we will see as you can see I drilled a center hole into this thing from the underside and now from the above we need to make the hole larger so basically this is what I'm talking about as you can see it's slowly drilling away I will use both hands to keep this steady because as you increase the diameter it will attempt to, to move this for you and hopefully at the end we have the proper hole for this thing. Okay, so using this uh, tree, Christmas tree the drill bit, drilled the hole to make sure uh, that this thing goes through it. And basically now I will just thread in from the underside the other part, the reservoir, and we are done. It was this simple. As you can see, hole is drilled. And you can see the plastic in there, so that was the preparation from IKEA. And uh, now, simply, simply slide this in, make sure you have the, the seal in there. And now, another seal, and this, tighten it from the bottom, and we should be all good to go. The orientation of this doesn't matter, because this you can pull outside uh, I cannot even show you something like this. So it's uh, you you feel it to the top. It's quite awesome the system honestly. Once it's in place, you don't need to go under the sink ever. And it's in place and tightened from underneath. Now I just thread this in from underneath. So let's go in there. Let me bring some light. Sorry, I cannot. It seems I don't have enough battery. Right in the middle, we should be going with this. If I actually manage to get it in there, be back in a second. As you can see, this is it under the sink. Staying nice in its place. Sorry about the light, but I don't have enough battery for flash to operate. Kind of sucks, but nothing that I can do. Anyway, so now let's fill this from the top and see how it works. Fill it up. I think 0 0.35 liters enter in this thing. So presumably how much it's still left in this will enter without any issues. Yikes. It's almost empty. I will leave it to accumulate in here and make sure all of it goes in there. So detergent in. Now simply slide this thing in here. And after a few pumps it should start, in, start to throw out detergent as you can see. So that's perfect. It's 100% working. So that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye. And yes, obviously, get it out. Refill it. 
put it right back in. Rotate it to wherever you want, always. Cool. Bye.